Hey friends, and welcome back to the second part of the Perspective Challenge. Today we're going to be working on two-point perspective. Before we get started on the technique that will help us draw a two-point perspective, we're going to talk really quickly about the definition of two-point perspective. Basically, two-point perspective drawing is defined as a graphic or artistic technique of representing a 3D object in two dimension where the parallel lines of its two dimensions seem to be converging toward the two vanishing points. That's, that's some pretty fancy words to basically say that we are drawing a 3D object in a 2D space and we're making it look like the lines are going back towards that black hole or vanishing point that we were talking about earlier in our previous video. If you haven't watched my previous video on one point perspective, I highly suggest doing that just so you kind of get an idea of where we're headed with two point perspective. Before we get started on learning the technique of drawing in two point perspective, I'm going to show you a couple of images just so you guys get an idea of how it works in a practical sense. Luckily, just like in the last video, all you're going to need is a pencil, paper, and ruler. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to draw the horizon line, which is where the sky meets the land or the sky meets the sea. Pretty simple. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw those two vanishing points we talked about in the last video, the black hole of death. Now you'll need to draw a vertical line on your horizon line. This will be your first box or cube. Now you're going to draw your converging lines. And remember, that's just a fancy way of saying from the corner of your box to the vanishing point. Unlike one point perspective, though, you will be actually drawing those to both vanishing points, not just one vanishing point. Now, just like you did in one point perspective, we're gonna draw vertical lines where our box or our cube ends. Trace the extra little lines really quick. We'll move on to our second box, which will be below the horizon line. Once again, draw a vertical line and then draw to the corners of both vanishing points. Once again, we're going to draw vertical lines to show where the box or our cube ends. Get rid of any unnecessary lines that we don't want. Now, unlike one point perspective, we're going to draw from the top corner of the box to the opposite vanishing point on both sides. Now we're going to draw a box or a cube above the horizon line. First, we got to establish our corner. And then we're going to draw converging lines from the top and the bottom of that corner.
just like we did with the box below the horizon line, we're going to draw from the bottom of our corner to the opposing vanishing point on both sides. Now some people like to leave their converging lines just so they can see how they did it in the first place, but I like to clean that up. Now we're going to practice our shadows by adding a light source. You can add your light source from whatever direction, but remember your light source is going to define where your shadows are on your boxes. So be thinking, where is that light source hitting my box? I'm going to go ahead and fill in the shadows. And there you have it, how to draw in two-point perspective. Now let's look at a more practical use. Now this one goes out to my friend Miss Figracion because it is one of her favorite video games, and hopefully you guys can recognize this, but this is the sample picture I did of two-point perspective. The challenge, of course, is to find a picture, a photograph, or come up with a building that you can draw in two-point perspective, and then post it to Seesaw. As we did before, we're going to start out with the horizon line, our two vanishing points, get our corner in there, and our converging lines. After putting in or blocking in the general shape using the two-point technique, I'm going to start putting in the details. And she's done! I really loved using this technique. It was very helpful creating the sketch and I really enjoyed doing it. I look forward to seeing your guys' work that you decided to post on Seesaw and I can't wait till next time. See you guys.